see the bird is upright. A delicious turkey. What's up, boys, and welcome to a very special edition of Henri to Glory. This is going to be Henri to Glory number 12. It is going to fall on a Thursday, which coincides with a couple of crazy things that are happening in Ultimate Team right now. Now, this is going to be mainly a pack only episode. Uh, I don't have great internet up here at the farm. As you guys can see, I'm not at my usual setup. I'm up here in South Carolina uh, with my family celebrating Thanksgiving and just getting a video done um, on the day of Thanksgiving. Now, it's a little dreary outside. The internet's really bad. It's actually point it's like 0.05 upload for those of you guys that know about internets and stuff uh, that is probably one of the worst internets you can look at so I'm gonna be recording this editing it and then going to a Starbucks which is 10 minutes down the road and then uploading it there but uh, like I said there's not gonna be any gameplay in this episode of Henri to Glory we're gonna do a bunch of packs we did the marquee matchups uh, which I will show you guys what I used to complete those we did some of the uh, 45k packs across uh, some of the uh, the legend SBCs, and then we also did some of the hybrid nation SBCs. We did tough, that we did quad, so we have a couple 45k packs saved up for that. Not only do we have that, but we have our elite three squad battles rewards, and then we also have gold three foot champs rewards. I know what you're thinking yourselves, way. What the heck are you doing with gold three foot champs rewards? Well, last weekend was probably the worst weekend for foot champs I've ever had. Was just not able to hit a groove. Was just not able to play well. Um, so managed to only finish on gold three. Now I only need 22 for gold one monthly. I don't think I can get. A elite unless I do something absolutely crazy. I think I need something like 30, 32 wins or something insane like that. But uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be aiming for gold one monthly. Wait, why is there a prime icon on Rhea in your thumbnail? Well guess what? Is this a delicious turkey? I, I wanna I wanna front. So alongside Prime Icon on Rhea, EA have released the prime versions of Rio Ferdinand, Lone Haji, and then Roberto Carlos. Arguably and I think easily the best batch of icons that they have released so far. The 91 Roberto Carlos card looks absolutely insane. Haji looks incredible. Uh, Lone Ferdinand looks insane as well. And then of course you have the 93 rated icon Terry on Striker. Now we're definitely going to do this one. I'm thinking we could probably bang this one out. Um, this one shouldn't be too difficult to do. 83 rating, 60 chemistry. So the Prime Icon Henri requires a 183 squad, which is exactly what we put together here. You guys maybe let me know if you guys are doing the lone or the regular one. The regular one, I don't know how anyone can afford it. It requires three icons. Not only do you have to submit an icon in the first SPC, but there's a total of 12 that you have to fill out. And then there's a 188 squad that you have to have with an icon. And then a 189 squad that you have to have with an icon. We're going to submit this one for a 20 lone legend, 93 rated Prime Icon Henri, who we are going to plan on using in the final 20 matches. So we'll continue using our left forward Henri for the first 20 matches in foot champs and then the remaining, which are the more difficult ones, obviously, we're going to be using this lone Thierry, uh, this lone prime icon Thierry Henri. Now, some of the stats look incredible. 94 finishing to start off with, 88 shot power, 87 long shots, 87 short pass and 76, pa uh, 76 long passing. He could even play as a cam, which is what it looks like he'd be incredible at. He's got 90 agility, he's got 88 stamina, but more than anything, he's got 86 composure. I feel like Icon Henri should probably have 90 plus composure, but you can't complain with 86. 94 acceleration, 94 sprint speed, and then 90 agility. The ab rating is absolutely out of control. We are going to store him in the club. Uh, so like I said, we are going to be using him in the final 20 matches of our of our campaign, of our weekend league campaign, which will be starting tomorrow. So uh, we're going to go over to the live marquee matchups, and I'll show you guys really quickly. Did Liverpool versus Chelsea for very cheap. Most of the players were in this squad already. The only guy I had to buy was this uh, was this Jake Clark Salter for 1,400 coins. The rest of the guys were already in the club, so we get a pack for that. Spain. Okay, so we can do it this way. Okay, so we're going to submit that guy right there. We got the Barcelona. Uh, again, all the players I had in the squad for that one as well did not have to buy anyone. And then last but not least, the AS Monaco versus Paris Saint-Germain. This one was a little expensive. These Monaco players are going for a lot. 2,700 coins for Congolo. Uh, we got 2,300 coins for Ragi, and then we had to pay. We had to pay something for 2,400 for Benaglio as well. But anyway, we are going to submit this one. And no, hold on a second. We're not because we need Marco Marin, not this guy. Okay, we're gonna put Pardo in. That is going to complete it for that one. So we have completed the marquee matchups. Again, last weekend, the marquee matchups were not good at all. I don't even think, I can't even remember any of the good packs that we got in it. But marquee matchups, we get a premium gold players pack plus the other four packs that you get for marquee matchups. In addition to that, we have a couple more packs waiting for us that we did some of the hybrid nation uh, SBCs as well. But we are going to go over to our foot champions rewards, which we have also not claimed. So we've got foot champions rewards, like I said, gold three, which gets us... I think, yeah, 30,000 coins, which is not bad. Two mega packs, one rare player packs, which means we have something like 12 to 15 decent packs uh, sitting over in the store right now. As a matter of fact, it looks like we have 15 of them. 
And we've got a pretty crazy team of the week with some pretty decent packs, hoping for at least a couple informs or just players that we can uh, use to bolster the squad. We've got a pretty crazy team of the week. We've got 86 Insigne, we've got 88 Vidal, we've got 91 Cam, uh, Eden Hazard, we've got 88 Pogba, and then we've got 87 uh, Club 80. I believe the first Club 80 player that is not an icon in FIFA, Club 89 Golan. We definitely have to do an epi on him this weekend. We've got the likes of Adebayor as well as a couple others. Easily one of the better, uh, easily one of the better team of the weeks that we've had so far. But anyway, boys, we're about to get into it. We've got these 16 packs. But anyway, boys, if you guys are hyped for Henri to Glory, episode number 12, the Thanksgiving edition. And if you think that the turkey outfit is sweet, smash that like button. Let's try and crush 4,000 likes per usual. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're downtown, come hunt you down at your house wearing this chicken suit. Now really quickly I want to touch on Kalasinak who I now I believe that's how you say it. Someone corrected me in the in the comment section of the video. I think it's pronounced Kalasinak. Again, sorry for the noise. There's no way to get rid of that. I don't have the remote for this TV and then for whatever reason I can't seem to turn it down within the menu uh, of FIFA 18. So we've got ourselves Benedetto 78 Benedetto. Now Kalasinak was not good for us at all. The moment we took, an off, uh, took him off and brought on Danny Rose, the game instantly changed. Kalasinak on paper with the, with the Shadow Camp style looks like he was going to be a really, really crazy card, but I think maybe it's the agility. I don't know what it was about him. Maybe if you guys have used him, let me know uh, how he's fared for you, but has not been good for me. And speaking of things that are not good for me, these packs have been absolutely dreadful. Third pack in a row without a board, but can it be something good? Get Ed and Jekko. No, wait, what? Ibisevic. 53 pace, E.B. Sevich, okay. 80 rated striker E.B. Sevich. Talk about the perfect player to submit into an SBC. We got Lingard, Mertesacker, Dragovic, Kor, Dubois, and then Naldo. Rare gold pack and pack number four. Fingers crossed here, can we get something good? It is not going to be a board. It is going to be obviously a rare player. I think we get 10 players in this one. Hello, amigo. And Ziek. no? Who are you? Belhanda, okay. Uh, Yunus Belhanda. It's so weird opening packs and then actually just having horses trotting around in the background. You guys can't see it right now, but I'm actually on a horse farm. We get Onui, we get Belhanda, a bunch of contracts, and then Donsa. Mega pack number one, I believe this is our foot champs rewards, and we do not get a board player, but can we just at least get a player that goes for... Uh, <laughs> Jesper Selesen. Okay. Jesper Selesen, not a horrible pack. You could do a whole lot worse, I suppose. 81 rated keeper. Um, is there anything else? Hector, Zuma, Janssen. The, uh, the Pride of Leeds, Maicon, Le Marchand, McDonald, Jocelyn, and then Cesar. This is where we get the board. Uh, that is not correct. Come on, EA, French, striker. <laughs> if we get Olivier Giroud, and I knew it wasn't going to be Lacazette, obviously he would be a walkout, but we get Olivier Giroud, a French striker for Arsenal. It is only fitting given that this is the prime icon, uh, the prime icon on Rita Glory episode. Here. We get Garcia, we get Corona, Coates, Ocampos, Valera, Kivrak, Gagnon, and then a bunch of useful stuff, but god damn it, the, the Prince of Persia, Netherlands badge, Atletico Madrid, but god, just nothing else. The second half of the pack opening is where it's going to be. Board player, come on, inform. Not going to be an inform, but we do get a board. It is going to be Croatian Rakitic. No way we get 87 Rakitic in a pack. That is what I am talking about. He probably goes for a little bit. 87 Rakitic, especially in Adebayor. Inform Adebayor and Rakitic in the same pack. So what is what is Rakitic's price going? He is going for 30,000 coins. We just packed ourselves a 30,000 coin player. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that was one of our... Uh, that was one of our foot champs packs. Gold players pack number one, the first gold players pack that we're going to open. And this is one that I believe we got from one of the marquee matchups. Let's see, it's going to be a rare player, obviously. Striker... Vieto. Adrian Ramos went to Liga 123. When did that happen? I thought he was in, I thought he was in China. Premium gold players pack. I believe we have three or four of these. The first one is not going to give us a board. Uh, but we are just hoping for a good player here. Left mid, Chupa Moting. And we get ourselves Stoke City Chupo Moting Shibek Sake, who might have the best hair in all of FIFA. About to get a bowl cut. Ugh. Premium Gold Players Pack number two. Now, the fatal draw was yesterday. If you haven't watched that video, you guys won't know that I've actually been matched up against Fuji. We've got a board player um, coming up against Fuji, one of the better players in the community. And we get Radamel Falcao. We get El Tigre, 84 rated. 
uh, Falcao, who goes for a little bit more just because of the marquee matchups right now, given that you do have to submit a Monaco player. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for 2 or 3k. Uh, even a lot of the lesser Monaco players were going for for way more than that, and he is going for about 4k right now. So that is a nice little pack right there. You know what, as a matter of fact, we'll list, because we won't be using him, we'll list him immediately. We'll do 700 start, uh, 10, uh, 10,000 bin. See if someone uh, see if someone gets a little bit trigger happy. But now we're up to 186,000 coins. We sell that Rakitic for over 200,000, and we get ourselves Rigoni, Rigoni who has himself the path to glory player. And given how his form is, has been of late for both uh, nation and club, could easily get himself an upgrade. And we get Quags. By the way, if you want to see a crazy story about a guy that was uh, stalked for like years, Quagliarella's story in in the Serie A is probably one of the most Probably one of the creepiest stories that I've ever seen of any uh, of any football player when it comes to stocking. Um, definitely go check that out. But Prime Gold Players Pack, we've got four or five packs left remaining. See if we can get anything good in here. Not going to be a board, but I'm already happy. Honestly, even if we don't get anything else, I'm happy that we got Inform Adebayor. We got ourselves, we get ourselves Filet Mignolet here. We get uh, we get the 87 Rakitic. We get 81 Mignolet there. And then see if there's anything else hiding in the back of that pack. 81 Mignolet, Narsing Mignolet, Mangala, who... I wouldn't be surprised if we went for a little Dini, Soldado, Suleimani, and Acosta. Board player, I think that's our third or fourth board player in the uh, in the pack opening. And this one is gonna be, surely this one has to be Ed Njeko, yes, of course. Because he's a board 84, uh, Roma 64, uh, 64 pace, Ed Njeko. Again, not a player that I'm likely to use, but uh, the Roma connection, Memphis Depay, uh, we get Palinha, we get Dos Santos who goes for a little bit, and then we get Sorloff, who's in form, is I believe he, has, he might even have two informs. I think he has a striker inform, and then he also has a left mid inform, both of which look incredible. I think the highest rated inform actually is that uh, uh, is that left mid win, uh, left mid one, which is a little bit unfortunate because he would be uh, I think much better served as a striker. Uh, this one doesn't look like it's going to be much of anything. Marwin Fellaini, hold on a second, boys. 77, uh, 79 rated Marwin Fellaini, aka Herlaini. Tetsidis, Lustenberger, Valeri, Oliveira, Takshidis, and then we've got two packs remaining, a gold reward pack, and then I think just a gold pack at the end there. Let's see what we get. Again, like I said, I'm already happy with the rewards that we got. We got ourselves that Icon, uh, 93 rated on Reeve. We're gonna see how he plays in the final 20 of our foot champs matches. You guys will see that at the uh, at the beginning of next week. Again, I'm sorry that it took so long to get an epi of Henri to glory out. Uh, just getting ready for Thanksgiving was just really, really, uh, was just really, really took up a lot of my time. So I was just not able to get an epi of Henri to glory out. But anyway, the last pack is gonna be a non-rare player. We get Yol, but like I said, I am more than happy with the results that we got from that. I showed this squad to the guys in the call and they said, wait, this is an OP squad. Like we have no idea how you finished on 18 wins with this uh, with this squad. I think I can upgrade the keeper. If we wanted to get De Gea, if we sold that Rakitic, if we sold the Adebayor, if we maybe sold uh, a couple of the higher priced items in the club, we could easily get ourselves a De Gea. Maybe you guys let me know if I should go ahead and get myself an OP keeper and then keep much of this the same. Obviously that right forward, uh, that, that right striker Henri is gonna come out for the 93 rated prime icon version. And then I just don't know what else I would change. I mean, it looks like a really beast. Uh, looks like a really beast side. Maybe you guys give me some suggestions. Maybe do I do I bring on do I bring on Sun immediately in 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 place of Ericsson? I mean, I don't know. Ericsson has played well. 32 goals, 26 assists, and 57 matches played. Very very solid contribution. Uh, this icon on Rees, 538 games played. Just over uh, just over 700 goal contributions, nearing 800 goal contributions, and just over 500 matches played. An incredible, incredible talent. But you guys give me some advice on the squad, and that is what I will go into the weekend league with. But anyway, boys, that is going to conclude Henri to Glory, the Prime Icon Edition Henri to Glory episode. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Wishing you guys a great Thanksgiving on this Thursday. If you guys are here in the States celebrating, hopefully you guys are having an incredible time with your family, eating turkey, and passing out, and possibly watching some of the football matches. But anyway, boys, that is going to conclude Henri to Glory, episode number 12. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Ade.